Hey, what's going on everybody? I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video. Um, with all due respect, I had to take a break from doing news articles. Um, even though, you know, whether or not it was American news or worldwide with everything that I covered, there's just <clears throat> so much negativity out there. And I was at that point to where I was just getting real sick and tired of seeing it. Um, I don't do negativity too well. Um, I don't see a whole lot of positivity, so I just needed to take a break, you know, focus on me, focus on my family, my friends, you know, get reconnected back with reality instead of worrying about what's going on in the world. Um, and then one thing for the last couple of days, I've been really thinking about getting back on and, you know, uploading. Um, and we all know what's been going on in the last couple of days, you know, with the threat, you know, the conspiracy of September 23rd you know with the signs um then we have to worry about north korea and with everything else going on here in america you know i just didn't know what i wanted to talk about because everything was already being covered you know from so many different people um so me being the little guy you know on this on youtube and whatnot i don't get a whole lot of shares so to me i felt like i was just wasting my time um and plus and everything i wanted to try to do today that i haven't done at all yet was I was actually going to write down what I wanted to talk to you guys about um, because every time I'm, I'm live or I'm making a broadcast or a video for YouTube I'm always freestyling I'm just going right off the top of my head and I noticed when I'm doing that I tend to forget a lot of things or I get sidetracked and I'm spending way too much time on one subject that has nothing to do with the, the video and its entity so, when I picked up a piece of paper and a pen this morning, you know, I only wanted to start writing out ideas for the story, um, for this video. One thing that happened was as soon as I took this paper and I put the pen to it, I just took off. I just started writing. It's what started out as like a fact, an idea for a broadcast turned into a whole opinion essay pretty much um it's been a very long time since I sat down and wrote anything so I think what I did was I took my emotions and my feelings and put them on paper um <clears throat> and this is something that I used to do when I was younger you know when I was writing songs you know a lot of people that know know me know me used to you know know that I used to mess with music so I used to sit down and I used to write write stuff down in a uh, in a flowing manner um, this right here is just something that I just started writing. It's with current news that's going on here in this country. Um, and why I really don't, you know, I don't accept it the way it is. Um, and it all really started with, you know, waking up yesterday and seeing the NFL being involved. Now the NBA is being involved and even the Major League Baseball. Um, it, it's happening in baseball. And it's about these players that's sitting down there in the national anthem. Um, me being an American citizen, you know, I can see where everyone, you know, is battling the whole idea of socialism and acceptance from different socialist groups. Um, but there's the one thing that Americans had to look forward to was our sports. You know, we deal with everyday life, you know. And then we come, you know, come game day, we want to be able to leave reality behind and go watch something that, which still brought Americans together. Um, I'm not a big sports buff, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to sit there and chant one team and not the other. I know teams. I just, you know, I don't, I don't get down and hardcore like a lot of people do. Um, but I do know sports. Alright, so I looked at it as in like, great, now we're seeing the social change and the struggle with acceptance coming into the American sports part of this. And it's just like, I see everything that used to be so American getting really, really thrashed um, with social acceptance. <clears throat> so, when I started writing this down, like I said, I just... Uh, flowed right through it I wrote seven pages it's almost like a little essay and instead of just summarizing I'm just gonna go off and read it to you guys I wrote this earlier this morning um, so it goes 
is something like this. American pastimes. Sports players were once learned was once known as heroes of the entertainment business, where fans would come together, would not argue race, religion, politics, but would debate teams, records, and stats. For every fan, from every walk of life, would gather in the stands and would watch their team, their childhood hero, battle for the win, battle to become a champion. Sports, whether it be baseball, football, basketball, or any other form of sports, was a time for Americans to come together against, again, regardless of backgrounds. Players were looked up to the kids as heroes, and like any hero would have a victory story. Kids would hear their favorite players tell them, work hard for your dream, work hard for your passion, and if you set your mind to anything, you could achieve everything. It didn't matter if you was a child or an adult, a player or a spectator, it was game day. If you was a fan, you cheered with your friends, your family, or a complete stranger sitting next to you in the stands. For being a player, you was going out for your fans to be the hero they thought you was and to play a game that you love. It was a time for every American looking forward to, regardless of work, school, bills, and relationships. It was one of the only things Americans had left to look forward to. And just like everything that is happening to American tradition, the spotlight's fading. We live in a social acceptance society where different societies fight for freedoms, fights for rights, fighting American traditions have come to a new norm here in 2017. We see the struggle of average Americans working twice as hard to make ends meet and fails more than most. We are seeing the struggle where biology faces ideology, scientific evidence that supports gender identification and not the emotional approach. The world is not a five-year-old's playground and we do not play fairy tale. We as a society has unplugged from the idea of individualism and uploaded to the new world of socialism where truths are being twisted through the masses to appease their feelings which in the end turns into one big lie and to the people who spend the time doing the research and the facts are being called the liars. Core American traditions are at stake. The constitution is at war. The Constitution of the United States is in a standing battle with a new society where America does not suit their feelings or beliefs or their ideologies. Where American traditions, even American history, was never anything to argue about. It was believed at one time. In American history, we have went to war with each other for economic reasons and even the right to own and have ownership over another person's life, which we all know as slavery. We have dealt with segregation and it was for the first time a nation to come together and unify as American citizens was born the Civil Rights Movement. Where some of the most socially accepted inspirational figures of the 20th century were given when the Civil Rights Movement was born. You had Rosa Parks fighting for segregation, Malcolm X standing out to ignorance, and Martin Luther King for social acceptance. One man's dream has become a man's reality even if it was the cost of his own life. We have lived his dream, remembered his contribution to the American people, we the people, which has echoed in the minds of American citizens for generations, is slowly being silenced with the future generations to come. America is being ripped apart at every scene. The very memories of what it meant to be a proud American citizen seems to be lost in the fog. In the world after September 11, 2001, where it meant to be an American citizen the most, America has shined bright and was the pillar of light and hope for every nation. American citizens stood side by side that day. Whites, blacks, Muslims, Spanish, Christian, Jews, hell, even different political parties even stood for one day, showed that America and its citizens would not break, would not bow down to hate. Not even 20 years later, we have succumbed to the very thing America stood against. Everything is being questioned. White, race, wealth, nationality, religion, background. It is no longer okay to have an individualism perception. We are being divided ideolo into ideology factions. Our options are always offends. Our opinions always offend someone, which 20 years ago that was okay because we knew we couldn't, we could have different opinions would not want to harm someone over them. We knew of our history, the good and the bad, 
the trials and the tribulations of a young new country shining up with the struggle of the social acceptance and social injustice that pillar of light America and its citizens holding on to the world stage is quickly fading now I could end this by saying I'll see you later America and my fellow citizens but that would that would be a promise I could not make because I truly as an American citizen don't know what it will bring tomorrow all right guys